A man who was one of the first soldiers into Afghanistan after the 9-11 attacks was in Keloland today. The U.S. government wanted to send a strong message to those responsible for organizing the terrorist attacks on American soil. And as Keloland's Tom Hansen found out, the retired Green Beret is now on a new mission. Retired U.S. Army Sergeant Major Vince Makala has a story to tell. His 12-member unit was the first into Afghanistan to strike back against the Taliban after 9-11. The mission in front of Makala and his unit is depicted in the 2012 movie, 12 Strong. We want to get that first punch back at the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, uh, the folks who carried out those attacks on our soil, right? So we, take it, we took it very personally, like most Americans. The local warlord gifted them 12 horses when they arrived, the best way to get around in the rugged terrain. They called in airstrikes and helped Northern Alliance fighters beat back the Taliban in that region of Afghanistan. We spent the next three weeks uh, aiding uh, Northern Alliance soldiers uh, as they uh, maneuvered on the battlefield and we captured uh, the town of Mazar Sharif, which is a town of a million people population. We captured that on the morning of November 10th with, uh, at that time, 24 Green Berets and 4,000 horses captured a town of a million people. You might be wondering why we're talking to Makala in a liquor store. He came to Willikers in Sioux Falls to promote Horse Soldier Bourbon, a company started by his fellow Green Beret and Horse Soldier, Scott Neal. Every bottle of Horse Soldier Bourbon is molded by World Trade Center steel. Now Makala and other Horse Soldiers travel to promote the bourbon, signing bottles and talking with customers. The group is buying land in Kentucky, growing the distillery, and working to make Horse Soldier a worldwide brand. We want to keep this going, something that uh, we see as a legacy that we can pass on to our, our, our families after, after we're gone. Tom Hanson, Kelloland News. As a company, Horse Soldier aims to hire and train veterans. They say working around other veterans can make the transition into civilian life a little bit easier.